Hello, and welcome back to the game room. I've got myself another MP3 player. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of a bizarre fascination for MP3 players, and uh, I actually try and use them as well, but my iPod Nano, yeah, my iPod Nano has finally given up the ghost. Focus, focus. Um, it shows it has a full battery after a while, and in fact it doesn't. It collapses to about 2%, and then it dies, unfortunately. Um, but this turned up, this turned up the other day. Uh, the Zen x -Fi. Zen. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I never found this, it's not a pickup or anything else. Years ago, this was my son's. And um, funnily enough, we were talking. Uh, we were talking about this a few a few months ago, and it's recently turned up in a in a box of junk. You know how it is—a kind of kitchen drawer situation, the man drawer. Uh, it's seen better days. You can tell by the screen. But I just wanted to share it with you because um, I'm actually getting some use out of this. You may be thinking, why don't you just use your phone? For Christ's sake, Sean, just use your phone. Problem is, I've got one of those uh, Galaxy Notes, and it's quite... It's a big, bloody device. In fact, I'm looking at... I'm kind of looking at the uh, surface area of a Walkman. By the time my... Galaxy Note is in a case, I reckon they're about the same size. Okay, they're not obviously as thick, but you get the uh, you get the analogy, I hope. So yeah, I'd rather try and use a little device, and I've got an interest in these things. I've got no time, or I don't really care for all the kind of clones, the Chinese clones and everything else, but I like, I like unique things like this from unique manufacturers. So this is the Zen x -Fi. As I say, it's seen better days. Um, I do believe it's it's actually yeah. There you can see it's beginning to come away from the uh, from the chassis, but uh, remarkably it does still work. But this had quite a lot of features, and I remember being quite impressed with this uh, when my son had this years ago. I think at the same time. I I paid way over the top for an iPod Touch. It was so much money. I remember getting that quite early. I think it was a 32 gig model. I can't remember. Um, but I learnt my lesson about Apple. I really did. So I think this is... Yeah, so this is 8 gigabyte. Straight out of the, uh, straight out of the pack. Which is a good thing. I reckon it's good. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit bashed up. Creative is the company. I'd nearly forgotten about that. Completely forgotten about it. Um, Control-wise, I've no idea what this is. I don't know if this is a micro SD card or what it is. Um, I really haven't got a clue. Uh, around here we've got the usual suspects. You've got your little data, your little USB mini thing for charging and for data and I'm pleased to report this uh, this still holds a charge pretty damn good again in comparison to my iPod uh, Nano says everything really um, standard headphone jack around there nice to see a standard SD card so you've got 8 gig on board and whatever you, uh, whatever you choose to put in there and that's pretty much it Pretty much it. So um, I'm just going to turn it on, show you some of the functions, because I think it was quite well. Uh, I think it had quite a lot of features on it for its time. Um, and later on, I might come back because there's a particular feature, uh, like on the the sound on this, like an equalizer feature that was quite impressive. And if I can be asked, I will come back with another video, and. Um, what I do is I connect the the line out straight to straight to the PC and try to give you a comparison of how this sounds. But that was another thing that impressed me was the actual audio quality of this and the kind of amplification, if you like, 
the level that was coming out, the sort of preamp level. So you've got a standard little slider for power. You can lock that up. You're greeted with the little Zen logo. Um, let's go through some of the features. Be a bit difficult to do through the viewfinder. As you can see, it's obvious that my son was a uh, Lilo and Stitch fan. He still is, actually. He loves that. He loves that uh, whole franchise. Uh, so you can have your photos on here. You've got photos. You've got your music, obviously. Uh, this is a really interesting setting. This is that setting I was on about for the audio. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, video. Video is interesting on this because... Um, it was quite open, if I remember. It used to play quite a few video sources. I was just trying to keep the screen lit for you because it's going to go into safety or power saving mode. Yeah, it's quite open. Uh, obviously, with Apple, I think you could only have MP4. MP4. So uh, this did support quite a few different formats. Uh, FM radio is really good as well. Really good reception when you've got the headphones in. I like that. Now this is a really interesting one as well, uh, microphone. So you could you could have this as like a, a dictaphone, dictate messages and what have you. And I want to really try to see what the quality of this is like. Because what's interesting in this, if we go into it, uh, you can see that it does, uh, it records in stereo. I can't, I can't show you now, but uh, it does actually record in stereo left and right, and it'd be really interesting to see the quality of the uh, the quality of the MP3 coming out of that. The back button up here is failing, I'm afraid, and now we can't get back out. There we go, we're back out. So yeah, that microphone feature is quite interesting on a device of. Uh, of this age. Obviously you've got your extras, so you've got your organizer in there and everything else. And I think that's pretty much it. You've got your memory card so you can manage that and all your regular system settings like power saving and screen and everything else. So I think it was really well featured and I really liked it back then. And I'm so pleased that it's turned turned up again. I thought we'd thrown it out or something. So um yeah, pretty good stuff. Really interesting in seeing how that microphone, how how that uh, MP3 comes out. Let's go back to this. I just want to show you. So this XFi thing is quite interesting. So you had uh, uh, XFi crystallizer, and the only way I can describe it really is it made it just made for a much sharper sound and it it never did that by just raising the top end frequency it's uh can't explain it which is why later on i might do a video and try and capture some music uh going through this it kind of just made everything a bit more tighter if that makes sense uh throughout the whole range and then another really interesting one was uh high uh, x5 expand and it just did a little bit of stereo separation not like say you would get now on a you know a standard app where you can have settings like a concert hall i don't know music playing back in a cave reverb um, it would do a really good job of slightly expanding uh stereo separation and again that was uh that was a really good feature, but the audio quality overall, it was it was really good. It was really good. So I just wanted to share it with you. Really, uh, you can see we've got some we've got some power left, and uh, to top it all off, considering it's not a phone, it also had an inbuilt speaker. Which was really, uh, really unusual. I've no idea how to play now. I'm trying to remember how to do it. Let's give it a go. See if I can get this right. right so that's obviously 
volume. We really don't know what the play button is. It could be up there, people. Proving really difficult to do this with the viewfinder. Ah, sorry, I've just found it. Obviously, it's going to sound terrible because this camera's uh, the audio on this camera is awful. But there you go. And this is Big Bottom Spinal Tap. I introduced my son to this movie years ago, and it's one of his favourite movies. And it should be you there watching this. It should be one of your favourite films. Thanks for watching, yeah. And I shall continue rocking with the Zen X-Fi. Bye-bye.